Greetings, my name is Paula Lopez and I'll be presenting our research on the rheological and textural properties of emulsion gels composed by lentil proteins. This study was conducted at the Rosario National University in Argentina, where we aim to explore plant-based alternatives to traditional food ingredients. In recent years, the prevalence of obesity and non-communicable chronic diseases has risen significantly, driven by poor diet and lifestyle choices. As plant-based diets are recognized for their potential health benefits, there is a growing interest in using plant-based ingredients to replace animal fats in food products. Emulsion gels present a promising solution as they can mimic the texture and stability of animal fats. These emulsion gels are composed of oil droplets stabilized within a protein matrix and their properties are highly influenced by the type of protein and processing methods used. Prior research has shown that drying methods like freeze drying and spray drying impact in the functionality of proteins used in such applications. Our objective was to evaluate the impact of two different drying methods for lentil proteins, freeze drying and spray drying, on the rheological and textural properties of emulsion gels using two different oil fractions, 30% and 50%. Lentil protein concentrates were prepared by alkaline extraction. These concentrates were then processed using either freeze drying or spray drying techniques. The resulting powders were used to form emulsion gels with sunflower oil at 30% or 50% of oil fraction. The mixtures were gel using gluconodelta-lactone alkamsium citrate. Rheological measurements were performed at least by triplicate using a frequency sweep test within the linear viscoelastic region of the samples. Textural parameters were evaluated through double compression tests with a cylindrical geometry and measurements were performed in quintuplicate. Rheological analysis indicated that all samples exhibit gel-like behavior, with the storage modulus being consistently higher than the loss modulus. The impact of the oil fraction was evident as both storage modulus and loss modulus increased with higher oil concentrations. Freeze-dried protein gels displayed higher values than spray-dried protein gels at the 30% oil fraction, while the differences were less pronounced at 50%. In terms of texture, freeze-dried gels showed significantly higher hardness, especially at 50% oil concentration, which suggests a stronger gel network. This may be due to the better protein solubility achieved through freeze-drying, which enhances gel structure. Additionally, as the oil fraction increases, the morphology of protein-coated oil droplets may potentially form a gel-like network with closely packed oil droplets, as suggested in previous work. Other textural parameters, such as adhesiveness, cohesiveness, stringiness, stickiness and springiness, show no significant differences that could be attributed to drying methods or oil concentrations. In conclusion, our findings suggest that freeze drying is a more effective method for developing the molten gels with higher structural integrity particularly at higher oil fractions. However, further studies are necessary to understand the molecular interactions within the protein network. We'd like to acknowledge Argentinian National Agency for the promotion of research, technological development and innovation, and also to the Argentinian National Scientific and Technical Research Council for founding this research. Here are the most relevant references for this poster. Thank you so much for your attention.